Hello and welcome to part 24. So in this part we're going to be dealing with the, the male areas. Uh, there's quite a few decks that we're going to do today. Uh, but I believe it is all covered in section 4. I think that's the only section we're working in today. Uh, it's just a lot of male areas really. There was a lot of male areas on this ship so <laughs> here we go. So we'll head over to what looks like the third section back but we've actually labelled it as 4 because section 3 doesn't exist anymore. There we go. Obviously this is the staircase from the previous part that we did that I managed to fudge up somehow. <laughs> so we'll obviously start here. So you want to come to the left. And whatever I'm doing here. One, two, three. And then a one there. And then that's going to come up by a five. And then five again. And then five again. And five again. And then five again. <laughs> right, so that's that side dealt with. Should have five all together there. And then you want four. Four again. Four again. And then we're moving back on to fives now. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. So it's five lots of five. That should look something like that. Okay, look. So you got space for a door. So that's going to be your doorway like that. So I've got that in. Then you're going to go five to the left. My own marking out got in the way then. <laughs> so we'll start on this side here. So you want to raise it up by another four. But it will be five altogether. That's the third one. The fourth one. And the fifth one. So five lots of five. And then just do another line across there. And then it's another five lots of five. See, this is as simple as this staircase needed to be, but I managed to uh, make it look really hard work in the last video. <laughs> right, there we go. So that's that bit sorted. So you're going to get your stairs now. This block here in between these end two, tidy that up, place a white block down as well, and that's where your stairs is going to start. Just like that. And the same again on this side. So I'll change that for a white block, tidy them bits up as well, and then stairs. There we go. And then obviously this bit you can just fill in with wood. And that is what it should look like. Nice and simple. Well the whole video is nice and simple really. Pop a door on. And uh, I think yes. Just need to tidy this bit up a little bit. So you've got stairs upside down there. Just like that. And then on these bits, just uh, three slabs. That just uh, tidies that up a little bit. And that is fully dealt with for this deck now. So we've got a few doorways we need to put in. From here, the fifth block to the left. We should tidy this bit up as well. 
but you can pop a door in. You can have it in the middle or you can have two doors. It's up to you. Same here. Fifth block to the right. And tidy it up. And then a door. There we go. Lovely. So that's that bit done. So what we're going to need to do next is the actual uh, decoration of the room. So you can do it exactly the same as me or you can do it your own way. We've just got some chiselled bookshelves there and then two block gap and then we're going to do like a bit of a table here. All the way up to the wall there. There we go. And then what you can do on top of that is put some frames down and then you can put some paper. Makes it look like there's a bit of mail to be sorted out on the table or whatever. Pretty limited to what we can do really. So two block gap there and then another chiselled bookshelf. Two high, three long. And then obviously a two block gap and another one. Two block gap and in one. Can do another one there. And two block gap. You can turn this around so they're facing each other. <clears throat> there we go. And then a two block gap again. There we go. And then a two block gap again. Right, and then obviously along this bit here is going to be a table. So obviously yellow represents the tables and then the green represents the uh, the chiselled bookshelves. Like I said, you can do it the same as this or you can do it your own way. I mean, like I've said previously, this is your ship. All we're doing is guiding you through, really. I encourage people to put their own stamp on stuff. That's a good thing as well, you can change them around so they're not all facing the same direction. Obviously coming around this side, the fourth block in. Got another table here. Yeah, you can put your frames on there. Bits of paper. Turn them around a little bit if you want. Then I guess this bit here. Third block in there. Got another chisel bookshelf and then the same on the other side. Had to take that one out though earlier. There we go. So that's that side dealt with. So we've just got this side and the back to deal with now really. But it's basically just going to mirror the other side so <clears throat> it's nothing too difficult. So the greens are bookshelves. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is going. Chiselled bookshelves, sorry. And the yellow is the tables. Put some paper on. And then we'll do the bookshelves again. So two there and then two back. There we go. And two block gap. Another one. And then a two block gap and in one. You want another one there? Then turn around, two block gap again, and then a two block gap again, and then a two block gap again. There we go. Right, so I'll deal with this sad bit now. Just plunk this in. Don't forget you can change the 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 <laughs> can't speak the um the floor block if you wish to do so as well so it's not all the same wood as I explained in the previous part that's why we're slabbing the ceilings so feel free to change that before you do any of this or keep it the same as me it's up to you 
two more chisel bookshelves back here. <clears throat> like I said in the tutorial, I'm only going to be changing the the floor in key areas just to, to save time really. This is the seventh block in, I think that was. It's eight long. There we go. And then just some frames. Right. So that's that first deck dealt with. So what you can do now is uh, cover the the floor, uh, the ceiling, whatever. Put the next deck in, <laughs> and uh, don't forget to slab underneath. And then uh, it's up to you if you want to change the floor before we do the next deck because we will be doing the next deck. I'm just going to make a cut here, I think, to save some time. And I'll be right back. So I've filled the next deck in and I'm just finishing the slabbing off here underneath before we move on. Um, you also might notice that Will isn't in this video like I hoped he would be. That's because he couldn't make it over. Um, but he's hopefully going to be here next Saturday instead. So not this Saturday coming up, next Saturday. So, yeah, maybe I can convince him to be in a video then when he's actually here. But we'll see. But uh, I'm sorry if you're disappointed that this is just me and not him as well. <laughs> but it is what it is. I have let him out of the Titanic for a little bit. So we've only got two more decks to cover in this section. And uh, yes, so I'll cut back in with the marking out for the next deck and we'll crack on. Right, so we're in the same section, uh, just the next deck up. So we'll start with this staircase here. I marked it out a little different to usual, so it's a bit easier. So you're going to start here at the back. Bring it up by five there. So altogether you want five lots of five. Just like that. Right. And then at the back here, you want three there. But you want to make these three uh, four high. So three lots of four. Just like that. So then three should be underneath the deck block. And then for the last five here, you want to bring them up by five so they should be covering the deck block so five lots of five there and that's the back sorted so we'll just deal with the front now so five lots of five again there we go and then in the middle here don't, don't forget to leave your gap for your door. They're basically going to be four high altogether, minus the gap in the door. And then for these last five here, you're just going to bring them up by five. There we go. Lovely. Right. That's that bit sorted. So you're going to come here now, put your white block just there. This is where your stairs are going to start. So you want five steps and then five steps on this side. Don't forget your white block first. There we go. Five steps. There we go. And then you can fill the, the planks in here or whatever block you're using. Lovely. And then all we need to do is tidy up under here. And then slabs. There we go. And then you just plonk your door on and it's all done. So that's the staircase dealt with. <clears throat> so there's a few walls to mark out in this section, but uh, nothing much really. 
So I'll come to the right side here. Oh, we'll deal with the door first. So a fifth block to the right. I'd already pre-tidied it up before recording. Obviously plonk your door on. And then fifth block to the left. Don't forget your doors. There we go. <laughs> Wonder when I was going to do it. So you can have it in the middle like that or you can have a door on each side of the uh, the gap. It's up to you. So from here you want to come a block in there. So one there, a door. Yeah, and then 12. And then going this way, just connect it up to the wall there. So that's that bit done. And then from this bit here, so the left corner of this, you want one and then a door. And then just connect it up to the wall there. And I think that is it for the wall placements in this bit. Yes, it is. So you're just going to bring them up to height, which is four high. So we'll just deal with that now. So yes, I am sorry if you're disappointed Will's not in this video. I'm a little disappointed as well. It's been a while since uh, I recorded a video with anybody really. It's always a laugh with Will. Although people have said they prefer it when I count at least. Because, <laughs> well, the whole Will University and inability to count properly puts people off apparently with Will. <laughs> Bless his little cotton socks. So you've got a door there and we're going to put registered, ah, registered mail. Yes, so that's a registered mail section through there. And then on this doorway here, we're going to put registered mail again. So that entire area is registered mail. And then in this empty section that we're currently hovering over, I think that's just a normal mail area. So I think the registered mail would have been kept separate because uh, people would have probably paid more to send that one off. I'm just guessing here, of course. <laughs> so now I've obviously pre-planned it all out, so I can get on with it now. So these red things here are going to represent the chiselled uh, bookshelves. You can have them on either side of the door if you wish, or you can do your own layout. It's up to you. There's a three block gap there. Another chiselled bookshelf. And then another one here. And a three block gap. Another one facing inwards. And then a two block gap and put one there. There we go. And then here where this door is. Place one here as well. And then in the corner here can have two. There we go. And then one right in the corner over here. And uh, yes, that's that bit nearly sorted. Just got this bit to do here. So third, fourth blocking was that? Yeah. Obviously we've got them doorways there as well, which we'll, we'll deal with in a moment. But this is in your registered mail area. So basically all we did was just some shelves. Uh, it's up to you if you want to do the same. But you can have three shelves here. I don't know if that affects the slabs or not. That top shelf, I'm not sure. We might have to cut those out. But then we've got those shelves here. If you do the third shelf up, it might affect you putting your slabs, your slabs on. And they'll say something else then. <laughs> slabs <laughs> so we'll see if we have to take those out I mean you could just test it now if you want so you don't waste your time and just put two shelves in instead of three but uh, it's a pretty simple layout really it's nothing special just some shelves really to store some registered mail 
obviously I just do this all the way across this bit near enough Obviously, if, if I could actually put items on these things, I would. Uh, but that's Minecraft for you. It's, it's limited sometimes. And then I just put these things around, you know, for like piles of letters that need sifting through and sorting out, sort of thing. Right, so this bit here, it's basically the same again. It's just some shelves and... Uh, them. I don't know if it's a cauldron that I've picked. Oh no, it's a compost thing, that's it. But they kind of look like storing baskets for mail. So I just decided to use them. I mean, I could count these in for you, but the placement of them isn't massively important. To be honest. I mean, I would imagine probably most of you will do your own design anyway. So it's just a guide really, more than anything. You can do a bit of a corner here. Like I said, we might have to take the, the top shelf out if it's going to stop the slabs going in on the ceiling. <clears throat> we'll see. So just some shelves across here. And there, lovely. Yeah, and then just some of these around. Nothing spectacular. That will do, I think. Right, I think we've got to deal with those doorways now around this side. Don't worry, this is something that's very simple. So starting on the left here, the second block in, just knock that out. And you're going to come inside here and just make these two wide here all the way across. Knock a door out there. And then on the end block here, you're just going to put bars. And that's as simple as it is. Put the doors on. I think that was probably to help the cargo coming through. Maybe. It's just a guess. Just put your doors on and uh, that's sorted. Right, so that's this deck done as well. So yes, feel free to do your own designs. Obviously I'll start filling the floor in here now. And uh, we'll find out if the third shelf will work out or not. I suppose I could have just cut this bit out, but uh, it doesn't matter. Someone has recently uh, told me about the, the fill command, but I really don't trust myself with it, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I don't trust myself with it. I will find a way to, to bowl something up. I mean, I make a mess of the simplest of things, so why would anybody trust me with a command like that? I don't know why. So I am reluctant to use it. I know it would probably save a hell of a lot of time. But uh, this is a safer option for me at the minute is to just do it this way. <laughs> oh, Definitely don't trust myself with it just yet. I am slowly learning the whole world edit thing though. It's not too bad. I'm not doing too bad to say that I was a, a bedrock player for years. Obviously, I'm just used to filling in everything by hand, really. So just doing this, this little little set oak planks thing, is a godsend to me. There we go. Let's finish this bit off here. It's decided to be slow for some reason. There we go. Let's finish this bit off here, and then we'll find out if the whole slabs thing is going to work or not with the third shelves right, so we're going to have to go back underneath Let's grab 
some slabs. Obviously it looks like I'm going to slab this area first so I'll cut it out and um, I'll come back in when we get to the registered males area. So we're just coming to the end of that bit now and we'll go in here and find out if we need to remove the third shelf and it looks like we do so yes the the third shelf up does affect the ability to put the slabs in on the ceiling now if you're not bothering with the slabs uh, you can keep that third shelf it's no problem but if you want to do this unfortunately you're going to have to take it out but yes all we're going to do now is finish uh, the registered mail area and uh, then we're all done for this part so the the next deck above um, will be the last deck for this section but there's a little bit more to it and that's why I've not included it in this video because it would take it way over the half an hour mark that I am trying to keep the videos at now um, there's definitely a lot more to that next deck up if I remember right so it will be covered in part 25 so that's that one done we'll just deal with the other area through here and uh, then we're all done. So I'll take the top shelves out, unfortunately. There we go. Uh, this side. Lovely. Right. Let's finish this off and we're all done. So, uh, yes, I hope you're enjoying the tutorial still. Now we're finally making some headway now. I mean where the Queen Mary currently stands at the moment uh, on the design side of it the ship is near enough levelled out to D-deck now so we're quite in front to where we are now currently on the tutorial. Um, trying to get in front I want at least half of D-deck mapped out at least before I start even considering doing two uploads a week but I'm hoping to do it soon so that we can get this ship done because it's been going on for a long time now I think it's uh, it's nearly at the year mark possibly if not already past it that's a long time for just one ship I mean we knew Queen Mary wasn't going to be easy but damn it's taken the piss to be honest <laughs> But yeah, that is it for this part. Obviously the next deck's the last one because that's the last red dot. That will be up to height. But uh, yes, that is it for part 24. I hope you managed to follow along okay. If you didn't, let me know in the comments and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you in part 25 and thank you for watching.